Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief brought to you by Leia of the Land. I'm your host, Jolene Marks, with today's latest headlines. Yesterday, we spoke about uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu saying that uh, he vows to annex Jewish settlements within the West Bank or Judea and Samaria. And uh, we also discussed that maybe it's uh, pre-election politicking talk and that it could possibly run into uh, a little bit of trouble with the Trump administration and their proposed peace plan. And today, the leader of Kachol Levan, the blue and white, Benny Gantz, addressing an audience in Hebrew, said that before he were to withdraw from any territories, he would take it to a national referendum. He would ask the Israeli people if they were pro or against any kind of withdrawal. Uh, and um, he cited the 2005 uh, unilateral withdrawal from Gaza and uh, the subsequent um, rocket and mortar attacks on citizens of southern Israel as a reason why he would never ever, or his government would never ever do it unilaterally, but would rather seek the recommendation of uh, the Israeli electorate. And uh, moving on to some local but very, very concerning and very, very sad news. The internet and social media networks have been dominated by news of the killing of a 21-year-old Palestinian girl, Isra Kharib, uh, who comes from the village of Beit Sahur, very, very close to Bethlehem. Now, the circumstances surrounding her death are very, very mysterious, and some are putting it down to what is known as an honor killing, where a, a young woman is killed by members of her family because she is uh, supposed to have or, or alleged to have uh, brought dishonor uh, among them. And let us remind you that there is no honor in gender-based violence, and there is definitely no honor in murder. So the background of the story is as follows. Uh, young Isra met a, a young guy at a restaurant and innocently filmed it for social media. It was a very quick meeting and uh, the intentions uh, were very, very innocent. And as a result of this, uh, members of her family severely beat her and uh, she fell down the stairs causing damage to her spinal area and was subsequently put in hospital where she was beaten yet again by members of her family. She then uh, sadly passed away and she is one of many, many victims of these types of killings and they're not just uh, restricted to the Middle East but to other parts of the world as well. And we just want to take a moment to, to shine a light on this uh, on gender-based violence i know for our viewers in south africa there is an issue in cape town that uh, has broken the heart of rape and murder of a young student from the university of cape town and there are many of these cases around the world but uh, here in the middle east the killing of young isra Kharib has brought thousands of palestinian women in protest in the streets saying enough is enough an end to these honor killings and they are demanding an investigation into the circumstances surrounding her death. And to Isra Kharib and all victims of these types of killing, we will not be silent. And to Isra, may your memory be a blessing and may there be justice to the perpetrators brought to, to you and may the perpetrators be brought to justice. And in final news, uh, Iran has been in the news a lot, not just because of rising tension between uh, Iran and the State of Israel, or for the rhetoric between the Iranian regime and Britain and uh, the United States who have increased sanctions, but today uh, Iran has made major news for their refusal to let in UN inspectors to investigate a uh, alleged atomic site which was brought to the global consciousness by Prime Minister Netanyahu in his speech at uh, the UN General Assembly where he exposed some of the findings of what Mossad had uncovered in Tehran. Not only will the Iranian regime not answer questions 
put forward by inspectors, but they will not allow IAEA, the, Inter the International Energy and Atomic Association inspectors, into the site. And uh, of course, this looks extremely suspicious. And uh, Israel is a country that does not take any threats uh, from Iran lightly. Uh, we know what their intentions with their nuclear program is and our hope is that the pressure of the world will be on Iran to let in these UN inspectors. So those are the top stories making headlines. Uh, don't forget that you can read more news on our website at www.layoftheland.online. It's www.layoftheland.online. Not only do we feature a lot of uh, diverse uh, opinions, but we also feature editorial from the Arab world. A lot of these stories do not get coverage in the mainstream media, but you can check it out on our website. So uh, go onto our website, read some of the stories there, and um, help spread the word. Also, Lay of the Land has turned one this month. And uh, if you haven't uh, joined our growing Facebook community, please do so. You can like us, you can follow us, and you can wish us a happy birthday. And if that's not enough, we also have a YouTube channel. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel if you just look for the Israel Brief. And if you share this amongst your friends, we get to tell Israel's story to more people around the world. I'm Marks. This is the Israel Brief. We'll chat again tomorrow.